Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning into this weather briefing. We're going to talk about heat and excessive heat, especially for February. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. Here's some of the highlights. Key points, unusually warm temperatures. These are high temperatures expected over the next several days. We're talking near 90 on the coast. We're talking in the foothills, temperatures in the 80s, even 70s eventually for some of the mountains. Overnight temperatures, a big range because of the dry air. So cooler valleys and deserts in the 40s and 50s. And then we're talking about 60s to low 70s in the wind prone areas. So not cooling off much at all. Prolonged Santa Ana wind event, uh, they're gonna pick up again as we go into Wednesday, the strongest Santa Ana winds Thursday morning. Please note that Thursday morning, strongest Santa Ana winds. The beginning is on Wednesday, the end is on Friday for the Santa Ana winds. Elevated fire danger, especially with those winds, but also the very dry air and warm temperatures. The fuel moisture is very dry from the lack of any rain over the past five weeks. Light wind for the weekend, but still very warm temperatures. Some of the warmest temperatures on Saturday. Much cooler early next week. Much, much cooler early next week. Okay, so what's causing this weather? Well, basically it's the jet stream. Uh, it's too far to the north and east. Big block remains across the eastern Pacific. Yes, we've been talking about that much of this winter and even the past two years. But in this case, we also have a resurgence of Santa Ana winds coming across the Great Basin. That's high pressure at the surface. High to low, the wind blows. But the warm air mass is coming down directly overhead. Dome of high pressure on Wednesday, anchored across California. Since that sea breeze is pushed away from the Santa Ana wind, the strongest Santa Ana winds are expected Thursday morning. And also the upper level high pressure just shifts directly and strong for this time of year right over California on Thursday. It doesn't go away on Friday. In fact, the axis is directly over all of California. So the warmest air mass is in place on Friday. The Santa Ana wind starts to weaken considerably. Much weaker Santa Ana wind on Friday. Now, what about over the weekend? So the upper level high pressure is still overhead, though it starts to weaken further but it keeps that dome of warm air right over Southern California. And we also have no flow. So we transition from that offshore flow to very weak onshore flow on Sunday. So the bottom line is the heat wave continues. Now here's our changes for next week. The storm system comes over, not through the upper level high pressure area. So it takes it across British Columbia and then down into central Southern California. Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Now the jet stream is split, so we're not getting all the cold air, just a piece of it breaking off. So it's a rather weak system, but we'll see noticeably cooler temperatures, maybe even some precipitation in the form of showers. Now, here's a look at some of those winds. Wednesday morning, the winds start to increase across our foothills in the wind-prone Santa Ana areas. A lot of areas will see no wind Wednesday morning, like on the immediate coast. Thursday morning, it gets a little stronger, but still a lot of the coastal areas have light wind. Notice the deeper shaded purple and brown areas really see some strong winds in the canyons and passes Thursday morning from LA mountains all the way through the Santa Ana mountains, San Diego mountains, and of course the San Bernardino Cajon Pass area. As we get into Friday, we lose the Santa Ana winds. They retreat because that storm system is much further east into the United States. So very light winds are setting up for Friday, but it's still going to be warm, if not the warmest day. Here's a look at our peak Santa Ana winds for Thursday morning. Check out your location. If it's in Orange County, you'll see some stronger wind gusts Thursday morning in places like Irvine. You'll even see some wind make it all the way to the beach. In San Diego, it'll be places like Alpine, 40 to 50 miles per hour. In the Inland Empire, Ontario, 40 to 50 mile per hour type winds, but even stronger across some of those mountain passes in between 
the canyons and where the mouth of the pass, like the Cajon Pass, opens up into the Inland Empire. Dry air, some really dry air, very low humidity will arrive on Wednesday, reinforcing the dry air already in place, and that'll last through most of this week all the way into the weekend. Now we're also looking at dry air and warm temperatures. On a Santa Ana wind, shown here Wednesday and Thursday, the warmest air ends up being along the immediate coast. You replace the sea breeze, you bring that desert air all the way to the coast, as shown here. So our coastal areas get as warm, if not warmer, than our lower deserts. Here's a look at some of the temperatures day by day. Now keep in mind, these temperatures have a range, but they are 15 to 20 degrees above average. We're going to see temperatures in the upper 80s in a lot of locations on the coast. That last Thursday, a peak on Friday when the Santa Ana winds weaken and the temperatures spread out across our mountains and even the high deserts. Going all the way into Saturday, very little change. 70s in the high deserts, near 90 in Anaheim. Now, how unusual? Well, 15 to 20 degrees above average any time of the year is unusual. Translate that to February, you're talking temperatures near 90 in some of our urban metro areas. When's the last time it's been this hot? Well, 2016 was a similar heat wave where we broke a lot of records. So if we're going to break any records in this particular heat wave, it's going to be comparable to 2016. Take a look at locations near you at these climate sites. Some safety, this is unusual heat, 15 to 20 degrees above average. 20 degrees above average places us near 90. It's gonna be dry, so you're gonna get dehydrated very easy with any outdoor activity, whether it's work or play. Keep some of these tips in mind, stay hydrated, 90 degrees is still hot and can be dangerous if you don't take precautions and are not prepared. Summary of what's expected. Warm temperatures, record level for February through Sunday. Check weather.gov for the latest alerts. Continued Santa Ana winds through Friday, strongest Thursday morning. Very dry fuels, so elevated fire weather conditions. Low humidity, elevated fire weather. Much cooler weather is expected, and dare I say, a chance of showers early next week, Tuesday and Wednesday. Check out the latest information at weather.gov.